This is a quick run through of how I edit in Lightroom. First, I start with the white balance. Sometimes I'll use the auto feature and I'll adjust from there. I'm gonna move to tone next, adjust any highlight shadows, whites, blacks, exposure if I need to. Move on to the RGB curves, which I absolutely love. It does take a little bit of time to figure out what looks best. I don't usually use any purchase presets. I'll create my own if I need to. But in this case, I'm just trying to get his skin tone right. After this, I'm gonna remove any default sharpening and add just a little bit of luminance in the noise reduction area, just because this photo is a little bit dark. Then color grading. I've been loving a yellow and blue combination um, besides the popular orange and teal look. So that's what I'm going with for this photo. And then I'm gonna move to HSL and sometimes I'll reverse it too. I'll do HSL first and then color grading. Here I'm moving through the colors in saturation, trying to see if it affects the image. And then I'll do that with luminance and sometimes the hue. I'll move to calibration editing next, but I completely forgot in this tutorial, so you may be missing that. Here, I go ahead and work with any mask adjustments, spot removal, skin tone adjustments, so on and so forth. So here I'm evening out the skin tone. Not too much to keep it natural. I couldn't remember if he was sweating or if he had a rash. So I went ahead and um, just took that out with the spot removal. And I like to brighten the eyes a little bit as well in my photos. Sometimes I'll go back and forth with HSL, um, color grading as I'm doing these minor adjustments. And I'll also do any transformation adjustments, rotate or scale the photo. I didn't need to here, so you are not gonna see that. And then always, by default, I have the chromatic aberration removed and profile corrections uh, enabled checked off. At the end is where you'll see me adjust the exposure just a little bit, see if that adds anything, makes it better, and adjust the contrast. Then I'll look at the before and the after. See if I love it. Love it.